Sample problem 2.2 says analysis of 84.2 grams of the uranium containing compound pitch blend shows it is composed of 71.4 grams of uranium. With oxygen as the only other element, how many grams of uranium can be obtained from 102 kilograms of pitch blend? So this is an example of a s problems that, that were similar to chapter one. This is going to be a, converti a conversion problem, and I'm going to use the T, uh, even though it doesn't really seem like it's a conversion problem. So the first step always of these problems is to start writing down what we know. So once I do that, I think you'll see that this is a conversion problem. It says that we have this pitch blend uh, sample, and there's 84.2 grams of that, right? So 82, and I'm going to use PB to represent pitch blend, shows that this is composed of, so in this sample here, there's 71.4 grams of uranium. Okay, so that is a conversion factor, right? It was a conversion factor in disguise. So we're starting out with 102 kilograms of pitch blend and it's wanting to know how much uranium is contained in that pitch blend and so what I wrote down first here in this much pitch blend there's this much uranium so as you can see this is definitely going to be a conversion type of problem and that's a conversion factor that they've given me so I'm going to start out by drawing my T and I guess I should put PB up there with my kilograms because that's what I'm talking about and those units are going to be important to us as we go on in the problem um, so right away I noticed, right, that these are in grams, my conversion factor is in grams, this one's in kilograms. And so that kilo is a prefix back from uh, chapter 1 that represented a 1,000, right? So what that means is in one kilogram of pitch blend, there's a 1,000 of that base unit, right, a 1,000 grams of pitch blend. And so now we can use that conversion factor uh, that they gave us in the beginning. In 84.2 grams of pitch blend, there's 71.4 grams of uranium. Now, let me go ahead and remind you, okay, whatever we start with in the top of our T, that's what goes in the bottom. So that's why I knew kilograms had to go in the bottom here, right? Kilograms in the top, kilograms in the bottom. Because kilograms divided by kilograms is equal to 1, and they're going to cancel out. Same thing here. Grams in the top of pitch blend, right? Grams of pitch blend has to go in the bottom here. All right, and so they're going to cancel out grams divided by grams. And I'm going to be left with grams of uranium, which is good, because that's what the problem was asking for. So equals. Everything in the top is going to go in my calculator multiplied, divided by everything in the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and type this in my calculator and see what my answer is. So I've got 102 times 1,000 times 71.4 divided by um, 84.2. And notice I did not say divided by 1 times 84.2 because you can just leave the ones out because anything divided by 1 is equal to 1 and anything multiplied by 1 is equal to 1. I'm going to move this up a little bit so that I have room to write my answer. All right, so I got, and I'm going to write this in scientific notation, I got 8.65 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, times 10 to the 4 grams of uranium. And notice that I reported my answer to three significant figures, just like we, when we talked about at the end of Chapter 1, you know, when I'm multiplying and dividing, uh, it goes with the one that has the least number of significant figures. Now, it just so happens that all these have three, so my answer is going to be reported in three. If any of those had had less than three, that would have been the one I would have reported it to.